the, the video has shocked and numbed every single Indian who has watched it. Uh, some very basic questions beg to be asked. This incident happened in May, on the 4th of May to be precise. And FIR was registered on the 18th of May. But today when the Chief Minister spoke to us, he said he came to know of this only yesterday when the video started circulating. If an FIR was registered in such a gruesome incident, how come the Chief Minister was unaware that such a thing had happened? How come the police were unaware that such a thing had happened? How come the police made the first arrest today, 76 days after this horrific crime? A very good evening. No one can absolve himself, herself of the responsibility. The video is indeed very shocking. And I think we have all heard our Prime Minister today. He said 144 crore people are hanging their heads in shame. And actually, he is very right. He said his heart is filled with pain as well as anger. And whatever has happened should not have happened in Manipur. But having said all this, let me tell you very candidly that, you know, for the past 77 days or more, the central government and the state government have been trying to do things together bit by bit, trying to restore normalcy. Whatever happened, I think it's absolutely beyond explanation. And I tell you, I do not sit in self-defense. But I tell you, we wanted to answer all the questions that are actually in the minds of the people all across on the floor of the House today in the Parliament. We wanted discussion. We wanted everybody to ask us question in the biggest panchayat of the country so that everybody in the country, in the nooks and corners of the country, could hear the government. But we were not allowed. The, the opposition wanted to create a ruckus. Now, as far as the, the central government is concerned, I must say that Honorable Home Minister was there himself for three, four days, from 29th May to 1st June. Okay. And he had been monitoring the situation in association with the chief minister. And in fact, he has very categorically, you know, there is a report that has come out of his visit. He uh, went to all over and from different, different uh, communities, he met people and he met uh, 11 uh, no, political Aparajda, party representatives. No, it's no one's case that and, the uh, peace is yes. not slowly but surely coming back to Manipur. Mm, yeah. what, what is absolutely concerning is, A, this incident happened three months ago and almost three months ago. And, you know, the chief minister, no less, didn't seem to have a clue about it until the video of it came. And mind you, this is one incident of which the video has come and now everybody is outraged and the entire state missionary is working to, uh, to apprehend these, uh, these horrific criminals. But God knows how many such other incidents have happened which have not been videographed, but these women have, uh, have, have their See. bodies violated. Have their physical spaces violated? Have their honor and dignity violated? I mean, we don't know. There could be tens of such cases. I read. I reiterate that whatever has happened should not have happened, and nobody can be actually be absolved of the responsibility. But at the same time, please see what's happening in Rajasthan, what is happening in Chhattisgarh, what is happening in other states. And Prime Minister was very candid today when he said that I ask all the chief ministers of all states to ensure that the law and order machinery in their respective states is strengthened and the women are safe. Okay. So I think uh, this is something which all of us need to think about. Z all of us Z need Zarita to see of the Congress is there with us. And this you know, time, I don't, this, I don't this want to, I don't we, want to bring in this kind of I, I, I really, well, just, really just, need just give to me one, one second, ma'am. Uh, Zarita, two questions need yeah. to be asked. Why uh, uh, is the Congress party, the rest of the opposition, not allowing a debate to happen in Manipur? You are saying on the one hand you want a debate. The government has said that uh, on the 15th of July itself, they had conveyed both to the Speaker in the Lok Sabha as well as to the Vice President of the Chair of the Rajya Sabha that they are willing for a debate, but the opposition is not. A, why are you not allowing a debate in Parliament, on the one hand publicly claiming that you want a debate, but blocking it actively? And two, uh, the question that Aparajita Sarangi and the rest of the BJP are now asking, yes, but what about what's happened in Jodhpur? What about what's happened in Chhattisgarh? Are we just conveniently going to whitewash those crimes? Uh, good evening, Zaka. Thank you for having me in the show. Uh, at the very outset, uh, when we speak of Manipur and um, as a daughter of Mother India, um, I hang my head in shame and feel violated. Today, this video that has surfaced is not of naked women being paraded. It is Mother India herself 
being stripped off of all the dignity that is there. Today, it is somebody in Manipur. Tomorrow, it may be anybody else in any part of the country. The question here is, more than 77 days, or rather 80 days of lawlessness, more than 150 killed, more than 50,000 displaced, more than 1,700 houses, houses burnt, and more than 300 churches destroyed. That is the situation in Tripura right now. What we need to understand is what needs to be done rather than pointing fingers at each other. Yes, you want to talk about Rajasthan, you want to talk about Chhattisgarh. The perpetrators were arrested and given due judgment and given due uh, punishment. When you talk about if you want to do a comparison, well, I can come in with a lot of comparisons here. You want me to give you a rebuttal? I can definitely give you a rebuttal. Look at uh, Ram Rahim, who just got a 30-day parole today. Look at Brit Bush and the uh, MP, BJP MP, who just got a bail today. More than 21 MLAs and MPs of the BJP are involved in crimes against women. Who's going to look into it? Here, it's not the issue of pointing fingers at each other. The issue is why are women being violated in India under this regime? Why isn't the government doing anything? In a speech or rather in a press conference of eight minutes, 25 seconds, why the step motherly treatment towards the Northeast? Why the step motherly treatment towards Manipur where the prime minister spares just 30 seconds to speak about the women and about the atrocities that Manipur is going through? 